Hey gang, Jason here for the Love Tractors, and I am with the Sunflower 6433 Split Wing Land Finisher from Speccast. So this is brand spanking new. It's been out about two weeks now. And um, look at this box. I love the box on this thing. It looks really cool, doesn't it? Um, just nice and colorful. Of course you'd expect that from Sunflower, right? Got some pictures of uh, it in action. Some crop coming up there, probably corn. And, uh, you know, there you go. Bottom side is, tells us a little about the... The 6000 series land finisher. They're the ultimate one pass tool, etc. etc. I think it's cool. It's just neat. It's, um, anyway, it, it's kind of a first for us to get a big high detail implement. Now we've had planters, but you know, big high detail tillage. So I've got a, uh, a nice little uh, versatile DT sitting here that, um, you know, it's uh, it looks pretty good on that. It's probably overkill. This is the 610. That's probably overkill for this land finisher, but uh, it's pretty cool, really. It's a, it's a nice looking piece. So one of the first things I noticed about this, of course, is it doesn't have the finishing tool in the back, which is odd, and I kind of get it, because I feel like this had to meet some safety standards for you know being a toy. This is age 14 and plus, according to the box. You know, things just kind of, um, I don't know, It's that's, that's just tricky a little bit from a manufacturer standpoint. So that's where the custom market's gonna have to step in. We're just gonna have to make some some finishing tools for this, Harrow's or whatever. The other thing I noticed uh, first off is it's heavy. I mean, this is a lot of die cast in this thing. And uh, you can tell from immediately picking it up. And I like that a lot. It's it's really good. Um, another thing is we've got a realistic hitch here with a pull pin. Just pops out like that. That's kind of the typical spec cast. Now I've probably got that in there tangled. That's a typical spec cast uh, hitch at this point. This is kind of how they're doing all of their implements, so uh, I think it looks great that way. And here's kind of a pro tip. If you don't have a tractor with a realistic draw bar, like you just want to stick it in an hurdle, just put your pin all the way through. That nub will stick out. You can just slide it right in your hurdle, uh, your hurdle hitch. So other things, let's just kind of uh, take a general look here. Really nicely detailed. I mean, you can see all of this detail up through here. There are, there are a lot of pieces to this. And when you start going, okay, this is basically, let's call it a $100 toy, that's going to make a lot of people balk at the price, but when you, or at the, at the piece, but when you start seeing all of these detail parts, every part here had to be tooled and cast and then assembled, I kind of get it. It makes sense. This is quite the uh, outfit, really. It's, uh, it's impressive. I, I just, I love the uh, sort of gull wing design, is what they call that. Uh, that just looks really neat. Um, just just kind of for reference, there was a custom builder making these a few years back. I mean, it's not this exact model, but a similar model. And they were about a $300 toy. So, And they were made out of 3D printed material, which was super fragile. So just to give you an idea, you can get one of these just like this for, you know, a third of that price. Anyway, it's got kind of all your height adjustments. One thing I did notice, uh, and I'm, I'm okay with it, is the the wheels do not raise and lower, but they the gangs do walk, or the tandems, I mean, do walk. So that's that's pretty cool, too. I, I wasn't necessarily expecting that. So pretty neat. You've got some nice-looking uh, cultivator shanks here, or sweeps, on this thing. Of course, those are all made of plastic, but you'd expect that. I mean, they're just there's a hundred plus of them probably, or I, mean, I don't know how many there are. There's there's quite a few on here, and when you consider how many they're going to make, those those are going to be plastic for sure. One thing I guess that's a little bit uh, of a knock against this is the disc gangs up here, and then you've got your rolling baskets. Well, the, the disc gangs will turn, so that's kind of nice. But the rolling baskets do not, and I think a lot of people would have liked to have seen that for this price, but. Um, you know, I I kind of get it. I feel like they had to compromise in a couple places just to get this thing to market, and I'm sure they're they're thrilled with their finished product. I mean, I, I know I am for the most part. So, another couple things: the hitch, up and down, pretty easily actually. So that's cool. Uh, you know, you got the cylinder here and all that, and of course you've got all the cylinders across here. You also get a jack stand. Unfortunately, that doesn't turn or swivel. Uh, but that's okay, I, I get it. it. Another moving part would have just been more cost. So let's fold this thing up. Kind of the first thing you'll notice is it's super stiff to fold, which is okay. But look at how intricate the folding mechanism is here. I mean, I think that's that's really neat. And it's, it's neat that they've done this in a toy that, and it's repeatable. I mean, I don't have to worry about that breaking. It's uh, super, 
well done. You know, this is this is not only a collectible item. I mean, for the price, it's probably only a collectible item. But you could play with this. I'd feel pretty confident carpet farming with this thing. I think it's that well done. Um, anyway, so there's that. Now, now the inner wings. Same thing. Again, they're super stiff, but that's a good thing to me. Yeah, there we go. Fold it up. Nice. Uh, these fold super low, by the way, so you know you can get in low doors and uh, on your shed and things like that. So that's really cool. I think that's that's a well thought out design on Sunflower's part. Anyway, just kind of take a quick twirl around the uh, 6433 here, and just to kind of take a look at the details. A again, this is just a super nice. Oh, look at that! That popped out. That's pretty standard for a disc uh, toy disc, though. And then it just slides right back where it went. Anyway, guys, that's kind of that. So a nice, intricate piece. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely got a decent price tag on it. Definitely would have loved to have seen the finisher back here, the uh, the finishing harrow, but that can be taken care of in the aftermarket. So is it worth a hundred dollars? Well, I kind of think it is, guys. I've been back and forth on this all day. Uh, since, actually, I've kind of been back and forth on this for a couple weeks since I first got my hands on this. But yeah, I think it is. Uh, there's a lot to this, and it's well built. And so I think that alone is worth something. And then I also think it's important uh, if we want to see more big tillage tools that we, you know, kind of support things like this. So as collectors. Now, of course, I don't expect everybody to rush out and buy one. That would be kind of silly. And I don't think I'd stretch your budget too hard to get one uh, if you weren't in love with it. But if you think you might want one of these in collection in your collection, I say go for it. I think it's a great piece. Uh, comes out of the box super easy. So uh, that's what's that's what I love about this the most. And Snackcast in general is great about this. Man, yeah, check this out. Let's just put this back in the box real quick. Uh, you know, if you if you wanted to, if you needed to move it, or if you just didn't have a place necessarily to store it out in the open, except for you gotta you gotta put the pin back where it goes. Like that, and just sandwiches right back, and fold that back under, and look at that, good as new. So I like that. I really appreciate that from from uh, Speccast there. I think they did an excellent job on that. So, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you liked it. Uh, you know, if you want to get uh, yourself a 6433, I suggest heading over to B&B Farm Toys. They're going to have a few of these around for a little while anyway. So uh, Brian and Barry will take care of you over there. And uh, hope you like the review. Have yourselves a great day and a happy tractor hunting.